this trade kind of got us by surprise. Hey, Rob, you're not kidding. It was right after the post-game press conference with Brandon Hyde, and there was this little brief blurb that said, hey, okay, wait, stay tuned for a roster move. And everybody thought, okay, maybe it's, you know, a kid coming up from alternate camp. I certainly think no one expected to see a trade happening. And sure enough, the first several minutes of that press conference with Richard Blyer at about 1 o'clock this morning, you could hear just how heartfelt it was in his voice at uh, how caught off guard he was, but how attached he had also become to the city of Baltimore to the contingency of media here, his teammates. He said, you know, I've been a part of a lot of major league teams, but I've never really gotten to be the person who stayed around and really got to be one of the guys until I came here. And he's just really loved it. Now, Miami is his home, so he is going back to a different home now. And the interesting thing about all of that with the Marlins is a lot of the moves that they've made this week are more of agreements than actual in-cement transactions. So while some of the pitchers that they have signed are reportedly going to their alternate site, it's expected that Blyer will immediately join the actual club to start making an impact in the bullpen. Now, that's not the only roster move in the past 24 hours, Melody. No, it's not. So in that corresponding roster move, as Richard Blyer departed from the Orioles, the Orioles did choose to bring someone back in from their alternate site. They're going to carry three catchers now by selecting Brian Holiday. He's an eight-season Major League veteran. He certainly contributes both behind the dish and at the plate with the bat as well. Check out the OPS there. So he's going to join that rotation between both Pedro Severino and Chance Sisko on that as well. So it'll be interesting. And, of course, the guys that are right across the field from the Orioles for the series, the Rays, they know what that's like. They're carrying three catchers as well. Yeah, and, and Melanie also is one of the things that's up in the air next week for the Orioles is their schedule. Any updates on that? So it was so funny to talk to Brandon Hyde today because he got a good chuckle out of it. But there is another schedule change for the Orioles, as expected, after they missed their series against Miami this week. Now, instead of hosting the New York Yankees this coming Monday, they'll actually host the Miami Marlins for a four-game series. And that is expected to have a doubleheader day because, as you know, just a couple days ago, the Union and Major League Baseball did agree to start playing seven-inning doubleheaders, which a lot of the guys actually said they're looking forward to it. They said it kind of takes me back to the minor leagues and as long as it's not two nine inning games we're okay with that so the oddity of all of this is that as soon as Richard Blyer has left he may be coming back again to face the Orioles Rob in a different clubhouse Melanie thanks a lot we're looking forward to seeing you doing the game